Well, I'm Virginia ABC CEO Travis Hill. In June 2019, for the first time ever, the ABC Authority surpassed the $1 billion mark in revenue. It is a tremendous achievement for the Authority, providing record profits to Virginia's general fund that benefit all Virginians. Something so big is only achieved through the contributions and support of many individuals across the Commonwealth. Thank you for making this historic achievement possible. Creating distilled spirits is a craft that requires keen attention to ingredients and process. When it's finally ready to be bottled, the resulting bourbon or golden rum, sparkling vodka or gin, or any of the other delicious distilled spirits we sell in Virginia ABC's more than 380 stores around the state represents the careful work of many talented individuals who are passionate about the creation of something special and satisfying and worthy of celebration. Last year, Virginia ABC received and distributed more than 5 million cases of the multiple varieties of distilled spirits it offers for sale. Often it's a long road for a bottle to travel from the distillation process to finally landing on a shelf in an ABC store. So we thought it would be interesting, and maybe even fun, to take a look at that trip from the distiller to the store and to you, our customers. The story of one bottle's trip begins in Charlottesville. It was a hot and sunny midsummer morning, and standing just outside Vita Spirits Distillery and Tasting Room in a quiet Charlottesville neighborhood, the cool waters from the slope of the Blue Ridge Mountains pulsating through the distillation process inside seemed pretty inviting. The Immaculate Distillery is where Ian Glomsky and his team produce Vitae's unique distilled spirits. Here, the crystal clear waters from the nearby mountain range simmer away and doing their part to infuse Glomsky's top seller with a unique taste. Vitae Spirits Distillery prides itself on taking basic raw ingredients and turning them into faithful expressions of their botanical origins. To do this, the distillers rely on a custom-built copper pot still and temperature-controlled fermentation tanks. And so this is where all the magic happens. Uh, we begin simply by loading our fermented sugarcane juice into our copper pot still here. We then heat it up so as it boils, all the vapors of alcohol and tasty other things go into our system. We shunt them into our rectifying column here where we get a bunch more distillation so it gets a lot cleaner and tastier. We then have the vapors go into our condenser, where we have a coolant in there, which turns all those vapors back into a liquid. Uh, we can see it come out here, and we can test the alcohol level, the percent alcohol. And then after that, it flows into our receiving tank, where we have our final product. Glomsky produces about 20,000 bottles of golden rum each year and turns to local craftspeople in the process. Um, we have a white rum, which we call our platinum rum. It's very simple, just fermented sugarcane juice that we distill. Um, our second rum is our golden rum, and that's the grilled sugarcane rum that we make in collaboration with Ace Biscuit and Barbecue next door to us, where we grill fresh sugarcane, uh, and that smoky caramelization uh, is what we infuse into the rum to give it extra flavor and, and color and everything like that. All of our labels were designed by Convoy, but uh, each of those labels also has hand-drawn botanical art on it. And we worked with a local botanical artist superstar named Laura Gastinger. And she does fantastic botanical art drawings. They're such fine detail. We blew up some on our walls. They're, they're really pretty. Yeah. Ian came to me to create images for his labels. I really wanted to push the envelope and not just do a traditional botanical. That's why we came up with focusing on cross-section of the stem and the root for the sugar cane. Those custom design labels are then affixed to 750 milliliter bottles, packed in cases, and shipped to Richmond, where they find their place in the nearly 300,000 square foot warehouse at ABC's central office. The warehouse operates under a bailment system. Its inventory remains the property of the vendors until it is scanned and ready for shipment to the stores, at which point it becomes the property of the Commonwealth until it's sold to our customers. The bottles of Vitae's Golden Rum may have made it to the ABC warehouse, but they are still the property of Vitae Spirits Distillery until a store order comes through. As one of the largest stores in the Richmond area, Store 331 in Short Pump has a great selection of Virginia-made products like Vitae's Golden and Platinum Rums. Where possible, ABC likes to feature Made in Virginia products, including Virginia's For Lovers merchandise, alongside our expanded assortment of popular spirits. 
Because Vitae Golden Rum is a standard item and not a special order, a new case will be included in the store's regular Friday morning order. ABC Store 331 gets a delivery every Friday, so that customers can easily find just the right spirit for their celebrations. About 55 restaurants or licensees also get their spirits at the store in Short Pump. Vitae's rum is one of 60 different kinds of rum sold at the store to restaurants and customers. Virginia ABC is eager to promote Virginia made spirits and proud to be a part of a burgeoning industry that creates jobs and is a growing part of the Commonwealth's robust agricultural and tourism economies. Virginia ABC is proud to carry more than 200 Virginia made spirits and support its partners including the more than 19,000 licensed establishments, distillers and customers around Virginia. Cheers.